course, Bob worked in the Foreign Service and in intelligence against the Russians <clears throat> and worked all over the world, South Africa, uh, Germany. So he could speak to this. I have contacts uh, outside Madsen and others ferreting out if this is happening at their embassies. It's confirmed this is going on. Some embassies are saying, get ready for bank shutdowns, bank holiday. They've got that dollars may not be taken globally or maybe devalued, but they've got to hoard uh, other currencies. We already see other countries moving away from the dollar very quickly. Now, this is coming up perfect timing to pass the banker takeover bill, which gives the Federal Reserve dictatorial powers, just like the March 5th, 1933 banker engineered uh, bank holiday emergency banking act, which gave them dictatorial powers. And so they've announced that, in fact, get Judge Napolitano video ready, because people won't believe me when I say it. We broke it. We told people over a week ago. Ron Paul, Bob Chapman ferreted it out, looked at the bill, said, yes, this is a banking dictatorship. And now they're going, yes, we'll be your dictators. No judge, no jury, no bill of rights, only the bankers. So I wanted to go over the international forecaster breaking this down. Uh, Harry Schultz, uh, which Ron Paul calls one of the best uh, researched uh, trends and investment letters out there, uh, also is saying what Bob Chapman's saying, that embassy connections around the world are saying they're getting ready for a bank run in September. Now, that doesn't mean this is going to happen. It means they are preparing to do it. Bob Chapman, thanks for joining us. Well, thank you very much. And, uh, yes, they are in preparation, but they may not do it. Uh, but this is good intelligence. Uh, we've talked to people who are in a position to know that these amounts of money are be received, re being received by embassies, and some of the embassies are receiving it, uh, dollars, uh, to uh, trade for local currencies. And uh, they obviously expect some problems. And in the State Department, <laughs> they uh, are, are quite concerned, but they don't know really exactly what's going on, which is interesting, uh, com compartmentalization, if you may. And um, it could happen in five months from now uh, it could not happen at all or it might take three or four months but there's something and you know we get these reports about uh, the federalization of uh, of the police forces in my last issue I had a letter from a, a subscriber who said a friend of his was applying for a job as a policeman and uh, was sitting in an office, and in the office next door were a couple of people from FEMA and the police chief, and they were discussing federalization. Well, I mean... This it leads into the same thing. Yeah, Bob, stay there. It's on record that the Arizona State Police are merging with the feds. I mean, they're just publicly totally criminal. I also want to talk to you about the bill uh, that's passed the Senate committee, where the feds will have jurisdiction now over all the states with the water and all surrounding lands. I mean, it's just, it's all happening right now. Do you understand how dark it is? How far down the line we are? How late it is? By the way, an official FEMA videographer who saw the towers one and two and seven, the rubble, how it had been uh, destroyed with cutting charges. He is in exile in Argentina and he's about to release that footage, that video. Uh, that they're uh, hounding him for. Also, it's now come out that all four of the flights, two separate airlines, for months, starting on the same date, and, and that's coming up later, they'd all been in mothballs. And then they all launched that day, specially. During, of course, the drills with the CIA practicing flying hijack jets into the World Trade Center and Pentagon at the exact same time as the real attacks. So NORAD would stand down thinking it was part of a drill. What bold boldness out of these people. And so it's clear. I want to ask Bob Chapman about this. They're on record wanting the new banking dictatorship. I'm going to play a two-minute clip of Napolitano. I played part of this yesterday. I want to play it all now because it's not just Alex Jones. It's Judge Napolitano on his Internet Fox show. They won't let him talk about this on Fox News. At least I've never seen him do it. I think Napolitano is a good guy. Those people that know him behind the scenes, I've talked to him a bit behind the scenes, and I, I, I think he's a good guy. People like Beck, on the other hand, who he lets him fill in for, is an actor and gets off on, you know, fake crying and manipulating people. And we're going to show some of that coming up. 
Uh, but going back to uh, Bob Chapman. Bob, for those that just joined us, some stations just joined us, break down the international forecaster. We have it in our story at InfoWars.com. Bankster holiday planned for September. What this means, uh, why the embassies are being told to dump their dollars, buy a bunch of other currencies, uh, what the sources that you've got are saying, and what the sources that Harry Schultz, with his renowned uh, newsletter that MSNBC uh, has given the award of a newsletter of the year. So, I mean, this is coming out for some pretty credible sources. Well, very simply, my sources are people who are working in embassies. And so uh, I'm getting mine firsthand. And, uh, and uh, I do know uh, some people in the State Department. Uh, they're almost as old as I am. And, uh, and uh, I haven't been able to contact them on this issue. But what I do know is that they, when I last talked to them, didn't know any more about this than I did, nor actually had they heard of it. And, uh, but anyway, um, Harry Schultz picked it up. And what he did in uh, putting a, a piece in his letter, which I reprinted in, in Mayan uh, this past issue, uh, was reiterate some of the things that I had said, and he said it was his suspicion, suspicion that the elite plan for, was for another FDR-type bank holiday of indefinite length, and um, perhaps very soon. And why would they do that? Well, it's interesting that um, today's Tuesday, uh, early Monday, the IMF said that if the United States does not increase its exports, then a dollar devaluation has to be looked at. Uh, if you noticed yesterday, the World Bank said that they saw a minus 2.9% GDP for the year worldwide, and that was quite a bit away from the plus that they had uh, pro projected earlier. Um, the IMF is talking about frugality and people pulling their horns in, so to speak, and getting their economies back into shape again. And, of course, the U.S. Federal Reserve and the Treasury have all the other countries going in the opposite direction. They have zero interest rates or close to it, which was dictated by the Bank of England and the Federal Reserve, and at least the top 20 in many other countries have followed and they have also increased money and credit. It varies widely. Uh, Britain, money and credit increased this last month for 17.4% uh, in, um, in the European Central Bank, uh, which is the Eurozone. Uh, they increased theirs by only 6.8%. They had been up over 12% previously. What they were doing was holding interest rates high, and for forcing money into the system along with credit. And the U.S. told them to lower the interest rates. It was more important. And so that's what they did. And now they've cut back and they're issuing some money and credit. They really don't want to go along with this program. And I, I, I can't help but think that 60% of the securitized toxic waste, those bonds with mortgages in them, was sold in Europe. And to this day, there has never been a legal action or a criminal action against the banks and the rating services who did this. And so that tells me they had to have been in on it. And I think they're kind of getting cold feet right now. And so and that's that why said, they've got to go ahead and get total dictatorial powers over us and say that if you investigate the Fed or criticize the Fed, you're a terrorist. Because they are the terrorists. They are the financial terrorists. They are the criminals. And they've got to go for broke here, Bob. That's why I spent the last three months on Fox, ABC, NBC, CBS. And I'm amazed they allowed me to. Uh, they did say one thing uh, about me not talking about the Fed. And I kept on talking about it. And they didn't say anything anymore. Well, let me tell you but, what's happening, Bob. And I'm sure this has happened to you behind the scenes. I go on a lot of local Fox and, and some of the local CNNs around the country, like News 8 here in Austin. And I've even talked to some of the producers at National CNN. They go, no, we know this stuff's real. Uh, my guys were at the National Press Club for four or five hours with Wayne Madsen, 
And they said all the old reporters, famous reporters, were going, yeah, Alex Jones is right. It's a New World Order takeover. The banks are bankrupting us by design. But shh, you know, they got spies in here. Don't talk about it. And so, I mean, it's just everybody knows who's got half a brain, Bob. Yeah, well, I uh, when I go on to these different programs with these commentators in Chicago and New Orleans and so on and so forth, uh, these are very large reaching stations. And, uh, you know, uh, before I go on the air, they, they giggle and say, well, I'm glad you're here to do this because we don't dare. <laughs> because they'll fire them. And so, you know, I'm used as an abutment, just like you are. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, we're surrogates. Um, we're surrogates uh, for them. They bring yeah, us exactly. on so they can slip it out and even kind of laugh at us. But then behind the scenes, they go, no, no, thanks for your courage. Uh, Bob, I want to get into some other areas here. Of course, I know you've been reporting on the water bill, but here I have the actual Senate breakdown.